Hello YouTube, LJ Draco here. Yes, this uh, is the Wednesday review out of the two. This is the good review, the film that I liked. Um, yeah, so I'm uploading these videos as scheduled on Wednesday. For some reason my YouTube's been having a bit of a problem that I've been seeing recently where I've been uploading my videos on the days that I've promised you guys, but yet for some reason I'm, uh, YouTube's taken a long time to upload them. Even though they're not big videos, it might be because I'm uploading them through my phone. I don't know what the case is here. So if you guys don't see this on Wednesday, I'm sorry. I did try and schedule it for Wednesday. I did upload it on Wednesday, but it, it you know, it's probably going to get uploaded like, I don't know, about 3, 4 in the morning, as it usually does. But anyway, guys, let's just get into this. This is going to be the, like I said, the good review. And this review is going to be based on James Cameron's Avatar. But this is not about just the film. This is about the 3D Blu-ray review as well. Okay. So let's get started off with the characters. I'm not going to talk too much about them individually. I'm just going to talk about them, their, their character progressions, you know, and stuff like that. And then we'll get on to the actual 3D review. So let's just, let's just get started with, obviously, the main character in it, uh, Sam Worthington as Jake Sully. Now, Jake Sully was a um, Marine who was injured... Uh, like from the waist down, had to use a wheelchair, and he had a twin brother who was a scientist, who was told that he would that you know passed away, um, and he was a bit like a washed up marine getting drunk in bars and stuff, and these government officials came and told him that you know his, his brother had passed, but that his brother was meant to go on this special mission, in space that um, they needed his that him specifically for. But they wanted his brother to go instead so that he could try and obviously take over this project. Now, Sam Worthington, this is the first thing I ever saw him in, in fairness. I saw him in this and then I saw him in uh, Clash of the Titans, Terminator Salvation and stuff like that. I only saw those movies after this. So, character development for, for Jake Sully between the beginning and the end genuinely didn't know who he was so I thought wow no, this, this is great like, this is amazing now Sam Worthington fooled the hell out of me because I thought wow this, this guy's got a really strong like American accent he's Australian I think I think he's Australian I'll, I'll put over here what he really is like where he's really from <laughs> but he's got a really strong other accent that isn't American so it's just like Hugh Jackman, you know, when you first see Hugh Jackman in X-Men, you go, wow, and then you realise he's actually really strong Australian. Um, so, yeah, in fairness, Jake, the guy, Sam Worthington, playing Jake Sully was a very convincing role because I thought, wow, for, for, for an actor I've never seen before, this makes me think it might actually be him. So, yeah, he done a really good job, really good job. So next up is the main actress who Jake Sully gets involved with when he takes over the avatar body of the Navi and stuff. And this is on Pandora, this is the home planet of Pandora where the Navi live, right? Where the military is trying to destroy so that they can take Adaptanium, this rare metal that floats. <laughs> um but the main the main actress that Jake Sully gets involved with is called Natiri, who is played by Zoe Saldana. Now if you if you don't know who she is, I'm pretty sure everyone does by now. She's in quite a lot of films, but she's making the big way so far in Star Trek and Gal the Guardians of the Galaxy. That's where she's making the big money. She everyone forgets she was also in the first Pirates of the Caribbean movie, where she slaps Captain Jack Sparrow. She's, yeah, so she's making her way up there and, and becoming a really big, successful actress. Um, yeah, so that they, they, they meet under the pretenses that... Um, they were getting attacked by the 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 Pandoran dogs, and you know Jake Sully was hurting him and that, and then she came along because they were trying to kill him. She killed him. She got upset with him because she didn't want to kill them because they're a part of her homeland. And then those little lights come down and land on him, and you know, and heal him from the wounds from the dogs, and she gets really freaked out because those never do that for any half blooded creation of Avatar, because the Avatars aren't actual full-on Na'vi, they are half human DNA, half Na'vi DNA, that's how the whole human to 
avatar body switch thing works. It's connected by the blood. Um, yeah, but their their love story and their interest between them grow extremely potentially, and I'll go a bit through that later. The next up we've got Sigourney Weaver as Dr. Grace Dorgenstein. Sigourney Weaver is actually a badass actress in, in, in anything. I can't name one thing she's been in that I've not liked. I've liked her in everything. I've liked her in Aliens, the the, the series and that. I, I loved um, Gal- uh, Galaxy Quest. I liked her in Paul. You know, so like there's this... There's nothing I've really seen her in that I haven't liked. She's a great actress. I kind of like her. But she's this doctor who... She's just wanting to help the Na'vi. She's one of those na- 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 naturist kind of women. That she doesn't want to hurt them. She wants to teach these native kids how to talk English so they can actually communicate. She wants to show that the, that the humans in the Avatar bodies, or even the humans in general, aren't a bad race. But what doesn't help is this big, booming military coming in behind them, blowing stuff up and killing people doesn't help <laughs> but yeah she, i think she's a she's a great actress and she's one of the main characters of the film because this whole thing wouldn't happen without her experiments and without her science so without her none of this could have really happened then i also want, i'm not gonna talk too much about this guy because I've, I've only ever seen him in one other thing but i like i like this guy this is stephen lang as colonel miles quaritch and Does he not look? You know what, I'm not even gonna say. But I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put the picture of him here, right? I put a picture of someone else here. Now tell me that this is not who you see. This is who I see. He looks so much like Major Chip Hazard from Small Soldiers. <laughs> like the spitting image of the guy, but he's a great actor, you know. And he's a great. He's done a great performance as this. He was the badass like colonel that you know it was like take charge and he was a bit ter- terrifying at sometimes because it's like he really didn't care what happened he didn't care he wanted to watch the the navi scream and die very sadistic then as again one of my favorite actresses but she's getting everywhere these days and that's michelle rodriguez as trudy Sh- uh, i think it's chacon i don't know how to pronounce the last name of the character but she's yeah that's trudy and yeah she's getting everywhere which is good, but she's such an amazing actress as well because she's always, she's always like the badass kind of, watch what you're saying or I'm gonna like, hit you and whatnot. So she's a, she is a good kind of strong female character, and I don't want to see her in anything where she's like the weak helpless female. I don't want to see because she's she's got the reputation of being the hard ass, uh, bad woman. I like that, but in this she was really good, you know. She was working for the military first, and then when she realised that the, that the colonel was going to make her do something she didn't want to do, she just turned away, and then she started helping the Navi. It was a really big like thing that she did. It was really supportive from her, because they kind of needed her as well, because without her, something else would have happened. So she was the main point in that story. <laughs> then, I, I you got to love this guy. I've seen him so much. And this is Joel David Moore as Norm Spellman. <laughs> I don't know why, but every time I see this guy, I have to laugh because if you've ever seen Bones, he's the guy that like has problems sleeping. Like he's just always like drugged up on medication, and just always like looks like he doesn't know where he is. Even in this, he doesn't. He looks. He doesn't know where he is. So like, even when he's acting, he just always goes like. He just looks so genuinely confused. Um, yeah. So you gotta love him. Uh, he's the one that like worked with uh, Jake's brother and stuff, and got got to use the, to his brother's knowledge. So it was weird working with Jake after that. So yeah, so that's the main characters. That's uh, the only ones worth talking about, really. Uh, let's get a bit of the story. Like I said, the story was is is good. The story was great. Um, you know, you had the 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 tree that was believed to hold. But well, their version of Mother Nature in it, like she, she could see everything. She was in everything, making everything live. Um, the, let's just talk about the colors and the schemes of it. Like, like wow, I mean, it looks all dark and gritty before you get to Pandora, and even at the beginning when you're on Pandora. But when they first meet in the woods after the dog attack, I mean, 
different coloured like trees and plants and even the the, the, the the branches and stuff every time they put their foot down it will glow green I mean wow this is one of the most visually stunning movies I've ever seen in my life and I've seen tons of animations I've seen tons of animation slash live actions I've, I mean there's, there's tons you, there's always some kind of animation in movies you know and there's always some kind of effect going on but this this looks so good it could have been real if you know what I mean like it's amazing and don't even get me started on the Ikrans alright the big bird thing oh they're so cool that's like the closest to dragons I could have got from that movie <laughs> that's awesome okay the only thing that I find a bit weird is that hair loop thing to me that's a bit weird but you know that's where they live, you know. I guess to any other kind of species out there, we'd look weird for the way we do things. <laughs> so I kind of like relate to it. But yeah, overall, it's a great movie. I had so much fun. It was probably one of the best movies that came out of the year it did. And, you know, it's just... There's something about that movie that I just really love more than I, I thought I would have. Because there's quite a few people I've spoken to who have said, oh, that movie's terrible. That movie's bad, and I kind of think it's not. I think it's one of the best sci-fi action kind of movies I've seen in a very long time. And it has Sigourney Weaver in it, so for that to be said, it's got to mean something. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think it's a great, great movie. Now let's get on to the 3D. <laughs> this is the part I love the most. Right, 3D of Avatar is absolutely fucking amazing. Okay, because you go, as I said before, I have my preference in 3D. This is a full screen 3D experience. This has in-depth and pop-out. It is gorgeous, all right? Because I'll explain my, my... I'll explain the one scene that I definitely noticed the most in this movie with that exact thing. It's when they're both talking on the branch and he's asking, um, why, why, like, why'd she save him and stuff? And she goes, I just go back, go back. And then the little things come down. Now, when they're on the branch and they're looking, you know, at each other, you see the in-depth. It looks like the forest is way behind them, way behind them. But then the little light things come down. And as it's coming down, it swoops out, out of the screen, in front of your face, and then comes back into the screen. Perfect moment. Perfect moment. It it even the three D is just absolutely smack down a hundred percent perfect. It's very rare for me to say that a a Blu Ray movie is a hundred percent perfect. Just because of it can't be. It can't be a hundred percent perfect. Because every every film has its problems, but for me, I don't see any problems with this movie. Nor the three D. I think the 3D is, is absolutely done spectacularly. I think the movie was done more than perfect. So I'm, yeah. So now this is, this is just the time for the rating, guys. Now the rating is so important to me. Everyone's going to go, oh, you're just, you're just giving it this rating because of how much you like the film. Well, obviously, I'm not going to give it a different rating if I didn't like the film. You know what I mean? So it's, 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 well, I probably would. <laughs> it depends on what you think of the film. I'm only rating it by how I like the movie. Now I rate my movies on... Whether or not a movie has rewatchability, so let's go. Let's, I'm, I'm gonna just name. I'm gonna so you guys can actually find out what I mean. I'm gonna go down by what I mean by the ratings, right? So let's start with the lowest. So D minus means I'm never gonna watch this movie again. D means I'm never gonna watch the movie unless someone just puts it on and there's nothing else I'm doing. So my eye will glance. C means I'll watch every so often. It means it means I'll watch it every so. Often. C minus means, you know, I kind of like the film. I just think it's got a lot of flaws. D minus and D have the same one. No, no, sorry. D minus and D. C minus and C. I think it's... Oh, they say C. I said C, didn't I? Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit confused at the moment because there's all these different things. Right, screw that. B minus and B means I love the movie. I can watch it quite a lot. I just have a couple of issues, all right? And then there's A and A, A, um, A plus. Because for me, there's no A minus. A minus is B, that's the point. 
But A and A plus means I love these movies. A just means I, I can watch them whenever I want. And A plus means I can watch them repeatedly. Because of how much I love them. So, I'm sorry the ratings got a bit messed up there, guys. It's been a very, very long weekend. I didn't come back home when I was supposed to. Uh, there was all these problems trying to get back. And it was a very, very, very long day. And there's also rain, too. So, I'm a bit... I've got a bit of a cold from that again. I just got over one. <laughs> but back to this movie. This 3D movie will get an A+. Just because of how amazing it is. And for all you 3D viewers out there who have seen Avatar on 3D Blu-ray, you guys know what I'm talking about. It is just 100% perfect. There is no flaws in the 3D. There's no flaws in that movie. It is perfectly well done. Anyway, guys, that is the end of my... 3D Blu-ray review of Avatar. Uh, this is just I said this, this is the first video out of, this, out of the two for the reviews. I'm gonna always do now every Wednesday one movie that I like and one movie that I kind of hate or hate completely. Um, so after this video, I will be filming the video of the movie that I hate. But anyway, guys, if you did like this video and you like my previous videos. Please show your support by clicking that subscribe button and do not forget to strike the like and I will see you guys next time.